So after the virtual tooth setup is complete, we have the option of continuing to add brackets. So we have the option in the bottom right of the panel and you could select the option to add brackets. Once add brackets is selected, there's an option to design an indirect bonding tray. So we're going to select that as well. It's not required. The brackets could be added to the models and they could be exported from the software and the indirect bonding tray can be manufactured manually or the, the indirect bonding tray can be designed and exported directly from the software. So we're gonna select the option to both add the brackets and design the indirect bonding tray and then press the button, continue to add brackets. So now the software shows us a curve representing the location of where the brackets are going to be added. So we have our maxilla and mandible draw options. So right now we're on mandible and we have the curve. The curve we're able to raise higher and lower by grabbing with the left mouse button the square in the middle. And we're able to rotate the curve from side to side using the large rotation circle. Once we have the positioning of the brackets as we would like them, we could go ahead and click Add All Brackets. We could select the bracket type from the drop-down list and press the Add button. The brackets are now added to the teeth. The brackets are positioned by default so that the opening of the bracket is perpendicular to the wire. You're able to put your mouse over any of the brackets and it will activate the widget if you want to fine tune the placement, the location, or the rotation of any particular bracket, it could be done by using the widget. In addition, if the tooth positioning is such that the software places the brackets aligned to the wire, but as a result, the bracket might interfere with the tooth, such as in this situation that we see on the screen, you can right click on the bracket and choose snap to tooth, which will protrude the bracket out and align the bracket to the tooth. If you wanna make sure it is then perpendicular to the wire, you could click snap to wire. 